Hello and welcome to Kooky Towers. Uh, much excitement at the moment because uh, my November scroller box has finally arrived. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy because of the mail delays. Um, this beautiful thing has been delayed also and it landed on my doorstep about half an hour. <laughs> and so I'm very excited and I thought I would share my excitement with you because you deserve to be excited too although it's kind of through me but <laughs> but you know what I mean I like to share and so let's delve in to the wondrousness of the November scroller box okay turning it over I have obscured my address <laughs> And we've got the beautiful pulsing. I always hope I can get this off in one. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. Skills. Okay, flipping it back over. So, what have we got in the box this month? Ooh. Let me bend that back a bit. Wreck all my desk at the moment. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the package of goodies. I'll put that out there. Let's let's take the box out of the equation just for a minute. Just because it's easier to see what we've got in our little Ooh, interesting. Okay. Um interesting artwork. La 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 kind of thinking pencils pencils <laughs> kind of thinking pencils okay so we have got the zine i'm not going to look in that yet because that would spoil what we've got in the package so let's open the package oh i did that rather neatly i usually rip into it with fervor but actually Oh, interesting. Okay, so the Squaller Box Challenge is a leading light for November. Obviously, we're a little bit behind, but, you know, we're not going to worry about that. Uh, step into the light. This month's box is, is inspired by our featured artist, emotive and monochromatic artwork. See what mood and movement you can create. Experiment with tonal values by building layers of shading and mark making to capture the delicate balance of light and dark in your creations. Interesting. Okay, so that's a cheat sheet. So we'll just pop that over there. So we've got the sticker, which is based on the artwork. We've got a toffee. It's a treacle toffee. I like treacle toffee. That's one for me later. I'm not going to put it in now, otherwise you'll not be able to make head nor tail of what I'm talking about. And obviously want to try and visit, uh, avoid a visit to the dentist. So, <laughs> uh, okay. So here's some things that I have got, but I don't think I've got these colours. Maybe not. I'll double check. Oh, probably have. It's always good to have more i say because these are the ones that you use quite a lot of so we've got titanium white and carbon black in the derwent pastel pencils so they are a very always a good addition to anybody's artwork or art supply arsenal should i say we have a derwent pastel pencil sharpener which is specifically for them so that's good to have also Ooh, this is a heavy boy. This is a Derwent Precision Pencil, 0.7 millimeter. So not a thin boy, quite. It's not like the medium lead, which I would normally say is a 0.5. I would say that's kind of like the middly. So it's a little bit thicker. That's good. Uh, we've got a Kohenor. Oh, this is nice. Versatile or versity, I can't kind of read that very well, but we'll get into the cheat sheet in a minute. I'll be able to tell you. Ooh, now that's a thick boy. That's lovely. I like that. We'll try some of these on some paper in a minute as well. I'll just push it back in there for safekeeping. Get, get in. <laughs> and 
Coronal Graphite Stick. This will work well with some of the other things that I've got recently. This is a 6B. So, and I did say I wanted to work tonally in the new year as well. So this is going to fit right in with my plans. Um, so that's what we have got materials wise. And then let's have a look at the surface we're working with. Okay, so this is a smooth cartridge paper, ideal for drawing and scrawling with charcoal, graphite, chalk and much more. So this is a frisk and scrawler box book. That's nice. It's got two hard cardboard front and back, so you've got something to rest on, which is quite nice, especially if you're working outside, maybe. Um, so yes, that's nice. Nice paper. It's got some tooth to it as well. Um, it's 140 GSM, so it's quite a nice thickness for working with the things that we've got in the box, so that's great. So let's have a look at the cheat sheet, go through it. So the Derwent Precision Mechanical Pencil, that's this boy, is lightweight pencil, still got a nice weight to it, designed with ultimate comfort in mind for sketching. This pencil is an excellent grip and balance for even the most fine line drawing. Mm, I like this. Pocket safe, retractable nib. Yeah, strong point. Yeah. And that retails at £9. So that's, that's pretty nice. We've got the Derwent pastel pencils, the carbon black and the titanium white. Uh, pastel pencils, easier to use. You can layer and blend them. And these retail at two fifteen each. Pretty good. The pastel pencil sharpener. It's the sharpener for the pastels. It's 250 usually, to buy singularly. The Koenor clutch lead holder. This holds a lead of a 5.6 millimeters, a big boy. Um, and this retails at 8.99. And the graphite stick uh, is usually 229 RIP. RRP, should I say not RIP? RIP, where does that come from? RRP. And then this little book, which has got 15 pages, retails for £3.99. So I think we've got a pretty good deal in there. Let's have a look at the artist work that came with this. Beautiful. Lovely. I like that. And this is Sophie Pasheva. My name's Sophie and likes to mix various techniques and materials. Soul, heart, mythology. Brilliant. Okay, so we can have a little look in the zine now. And obviously we go through the things that we have in the box, including the treacle toffee. Yes, mine. Um, uh, um, a conversation with Sophie Pasheva and different things about her artwork. Interesting to learn about everybody else's techniques and stuff. Uh, we have the scrawler tips. We also have the artist's advice. And um, we have things to try on one page. Here's the gallery from a previous box. Uh, ways sketching and boost. Uh, ways sketch. I can't, I can't even reset. Rewind. Ways sketching and drawing can boost your mood. Well, I think if we're artists, we tend to know that these things boost our mood. Um, it's it's one of those things if you sit down and actually do some creating, then I don't know about you, but I instantly feel better when I have a pot full of paint at the side of me and something to, to slap it onto. I do always feel much better for doing that. And then we've got uh, Sophie's beginner tips. First, do not buy a white table. <laughs> uh, this is why I have a mat on my table. My, my table is white. It's one of those Ikea jobbies. Uh, but I got such a lot of light through this window that I needed to soften it down, which is why you probably see my pink mat background on here. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, yeah, the white table was her main mistake, apparently. <laughs> So white table, a no, no. Well, this looks very interesting. I uh, obviously will be doing something with this. I've got a lot of things to catch up on this month, but I thought you'd like to see what's in the scrawler box 
for November and trying to have a think of what I could do for leading light. Hmm, I shall think on that a little longer. Okay, so let's see what we can do with these uh, supplies. You can see I've already had a little scribble here on my um, on the the note at the sketchbook that they gave us. Sorry, I'm just rearranging my wires. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've had a quick scribble. I've also had a sad time with this pastel pencil. Sadly, um, it broke and then as I kept sharpening it with its pencil sharpener, it just kept breaking even further. This is what I've got at the minute. But it's okay, we'll, we'll keep going. <laughs> So I've had a scribble, but I thought I'd do something in a bit more um, of a an orderly fashion. So the first thing I'm going to do is the Derwent Precision, which is a 0.7 millimeter. Just give it a quick scribble. It looks like it's an HB lead. Again, though, the more you lay down, the darker it gets. So that's a good thing. This paper has got some tooth to it, which is nice, and you can get kind of light. In there. So that is the 0.7 millimeter. The next one we have is the Kohenor Versatile Versatile. Um, this is the chunky boy in this bit here. So let's get some of that down. Oh, you can get some nice um, thick marks with this. Oh, really nice. I wonder what the strength of the lead is. It's a nice thick one. I think it did say, didn't it? Let's have a look at our cheat sheet. It's a 4B. Okay, so this is a 4B. 4B lead in a 5.6 millimeter thickness. That's nice. So it's a darker and you can also shade it out a bit. You could use a side of it as well. So you could go like that. Or you could use a point to get more detail. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so that's two of them we've done. Let's have a look at this Kohenor graphite stick. This is a 6B. Oh yeah, that is darker. Yeah. Again, it's one of those you could, let's see if we can try and use this end. Ooh, you can get some interesting texture using the end of it. And again, it comes to a point. You can sharpen these, I do believe, as well. So they are graphite, like a pencil. Okay. Derwent Pastor, this is the carbon black. Oh, and that is black. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great. A lot of people don't like pastel pencils. I. I do quite like them. I have a feeling that they're not as easy to use as some things and they do make a bit of a mess. But you know, I'm happy for that. Let's, let's see if we can dab some of that up. There we go. So it's nice and dark. So that's a nice thing to work with. Now, my worry, as ever, is that I've got this pastel and I think it will only blend with the pastel. And I can't really get any white high. Oh, it's just breaking up. White highlights with it, which is sad. Um, if I go over the the graphite, it does nothing. And obviously, on a white paper, you can kind of see it, but it's not going to give me any great um, highlights. If I've drawn something already, I think if I was going to go with the white paper, I'm going to have to use the paper as a highlight. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I kind of have to think on that one a little bit longer. Um, there isn't an eraser. Uh, oh, there is an eraser. Hold on. Let's have a look at this Derwent Precision Eraser and see how well it takes out. Oh, it does. It takes. So I can get a highlight back that way. But it kind of makes that white pastel redundant, doesn't it? I mean, I know I can use it for other things, but kind of sad that I can't. Oh, hello, it's coming out. There we go. 
okay so it is erasable so we can get some highlight back that way um it's not the best eraser but you know we'll give it a go so those are all the different tools we've got to work with um kind of sad about this guy in, in more than one way <laughs> uh yeah titanium white you were my hope never mind let's see what we can make so this is my practice <laughs> my practice scribble um i was kind of work with the idea of doing portraiture so um i was looking at um sophie's work and thinking oh that's quite a good idea let's see if i can do something in the style of so <laughs> this was uh, it's not my highest and best moment, but it, it was an attempt. So that's first go, struggling with trying to keep the white lights in. So I'm trying to get the light coming in that way. I don't think I really achieved it, but it, it was, it's a first attempt. So, you know, it's, it's one of those. Yeah. Um, what can I say? It's a new material, you know, trying something new. Second attempt, I broke the rules. <laughs> remember way back well not that way back for me but maybe way back for some people in one of the scrawler boxes um there was this beautiful denim paper and i thought oh it's not really cheating if you take it from another scrawler box is it <laughs> well i've got an example of what i did with the pad so um i really wasn't feeling the white paper to work on and I kind of wish we'd got some tinted paper in the set rather than the, the the as lovely as it is this this book the sketchbook um so I broke out this <laughs> denim paper which is perfect for um ch charcoal and um and pastel as well so yeah grabbed some of that out and this is what i managed i was quite happy with this it's not perfect it's it's definitely not that <laughs> but it is an attempt and i was quite happy with the way that this turned out now what i really want to do i've done the portrait but what i really would like to do is try and do an animal of a kind so that's going to be the next thing that we have a go at and i really want to try and do it on the white paper <laughs> I don't want to break the rules anymore, but I'm just, you know, just another option. If you didn't like the white paper, then you could have a go at doing something on a tinted. And I don't think it's breaking the rules that much. Let me know in the comments if you think I've absolutely ruined the whole challenge by <laughs> doing it on a denim paper. <laughs> but I really just wanted to try it out. So we're going to go back to the challenge. We're going to try it on an actual piece of paper in the sketchbook. So let's let's flip that over. OK, here we go.
Okay, so <laughs> managing a scary hair. Oh, I don't know whether it's hair like or not. His ears are not quite long enough because I ran out of paper because I didn't position the head in the correct place. But you know what? Had a go. And that's the main thing. I think my favourites out of the ones that I did would definitely be not this guy. <laughs> uh, tried him. Not so good. But I did like this one where I could actually use the white as a highlight and actually the paper was really nice to draw on as well. It's kind of a lot smoother in texture. So scroller box, I tried. <laughs> and this is what I got. Hope you've enjoyed my struggles with charcoal. Uh, I intend to do more. I really, really do because I've loved the process, even though my outcome wasn't as uh, intended or expected. Um, so I'm going to keep going because I think I just need to work with this a bit more. I'm going to definitely work on toned paper, though, I think, because that, that I feel that's my that's my comfort zone place at the moment. <laughs> Whereas um, scary hair um and, and a weird dog um maybe not so much but i did enjoy that one have a great day i hope you've enjoyed looking at my very dusty fingers and <laughs> seeing me have a go with the challenge on the scroller box take care look after yourselves bye for now